Yeah, people, people, welcome back to my channel. You know how to put your boy Jay this with there with another video. So, that video here, I'm going to really talk about Vibes Cartel and what he has achieved. Not in his full career, but just over the 13 years that he's been incarcerated. Because it is something to talk about, and the reason why I say this, say this is that a lot of artists have been outside. When I say outside, I mean not in prison, and they are they haven't achieved what Vibes Cartel has achieved in terms of network, in terms of businesses and such alike. Because they have they have had the freedom over the last 13 years to, to, to move about, visit any country they feel like, perform anywhere they felt like, and uh, and, and all these things. But Vibes Cartel being incarcerated. He's been able to, you know, maybe some may say be because he's, he's able to sit in one place and just maybe think and have the time to, to really do all these things. Maybe that's why he's been able to achieve so much. But at the same time, you still have to give him credit because he could have taken that time and achieved nothing. He could have just sit there and just um, ponder away about just getting his freedom and not setting his legacy or anything like that and the reason the main reason why i'm doing this video outside of the fact to show what vibes cartel has been doing over the last 30 years is some of the the um the negative rumors that people have been spreading a lot of people because vibes cartel announced his show so early they are saying he's broke and he needs to get the money back that he spent on his lawyers and all these things but most of these people are just speaking either from a place of hate or just from a place of not knowing what is really going on because if you follow the case Vibes Cartel already made it known and his lawyer made it known that he would get the monies back that he spent especially to go to the privy council that the, the government owes him that they're gonna have to give that back to him so right there and then he, at least he's getting back some of that money right but let's dive into the video and explain what is going on so i'm a, um while i talk i'm gonna be showing you some videos and pictures and stuff of some of the things that vibes cartel has been up to and this is just a tip of the iceberg this is just the ones i have information on there's a lot more and i think in due time vibes cartel will, will reveal those so, um, Vibes Cartel has been a person that invests in real estate even long before he went to prison, right? So, as you can see, which I'll be showing you guys, there's a lot of development properties that Vibes Cartel has, invest, has, has invested in. Um, you'll, see, you'll see videos of some of these developments um starting from scratch starting from just them clearing the the, 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 the land to building retainer walls and stuff like that there's also um pictures with blueprint designs 3d designs and all that stuff 3d rendering to show you what the finished product would look like there's also finished buildings that were, 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 were bought um, a few of them are, are now Airbnbs that um, the regular people can rent and, and, and stay at when they when they visit Jamaica I think those at the time were, were, were run by Sidem that's his fiance she was the one that was in charge of those properties um, in terms of getting them rented out and stuff, collecting monies and whatsoever, managing it, make sure those properties are clean when when um uh, when people visit and leave. Also, as I said, there's some that have been started from scratch. One of them seems to be a mega mansion. Um, the 3D rendering is there for that. There's multiple 3D renderings for that for that property. And there and, and also the houses he owned before he went to prison. Um, even also something that is um, I'm supposed to point out also is that from behind bars, Vibes Cartel started 
a grabber company. If you don't know what grabber is, grabber is um, tobacco that, that is used to blend with, uh, it's a smoking paraphernalia pretty much. So people, people blend it with, with their marijuana for a, 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 a different taste. So Vibes Cartel started this grabber business. You can get the, you can get the regular grabber, you can get it crushed. Um, and I think that is something that to me is mind blowing. And the reason why I said that is because Vibes Cartel is one of the only artists that has a grabber line at the moment. And Vibes Cartel hasn't traveled. Prior to him going to St. Vincent, he hasn't traveled in, in, in over 13 years. And he stayed behind bars and, and saw that there was a need for, for a crushed grabber. If anybody, who, I don't know for any other country, but I live in the States, I live in New York to be, to be, to be precise. And crushed grabber is very prominent in, um, in my era. You know what I mean? So uh, that product is going to be very, very lucrative for Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel even went as far as to create and build a factory to produce this grabber product. And as you can see in the video that I'm going to show so at some point in time in this video, he's hired um, multiple Jamaicans from that business. So for the people that are saying Vibes Cartel is broke, I think you should do some deeper research into who Vibes Cartel is and what he's about. Because all of this that I've mentioned has, has nothing to do with his music. You know what I mean? This is just um, different streams of income. Commodities and, and, and um, re real estate properties and all that stuff. And I, and, and, and I can imagine all the other things that we don't know about just yet. Vibe Scarter has always been a businessman. Before he went to prison, he had his own shoe line. He had his he, he had his own rum. He, he had his own um he had a club that he was running. A lot of these things he had he, he partnered with Corritad on. But at the same time, he's always been interested in other businesses outside of music. Cause he knows that he won't be able to do music. Or maybe he don't want to do music all his life. We all know Vibes Cartel loves music, but maybe he doesn't want to just sit or be in music 24-7, being going on tours and all these things, being away from his family all the time. So he has um, different revenue streams that he, he, can, he can turn back to. And also another thing that I must commend him on is the legacy he's, try, he's trying to set for his sons, even while he was away. He created multiple labels for, for, um, for, for his kids. Even his son, his last son, Aiko. Aiko has his own label. Adiana has her own label. You know what I mean? So, even though they're not seemingly showing any interest really in music, he created these labels to create revenue streams for, for them and their future. So you have to give him props for, those, for things like those. A lot of artists don't be doing stuff like this. You can call and on, um, on one hand, the amount of artists that are, 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 are doing these type of businesses like Vibes Cartel. And all of this majority of what I'm talking about has been done from behind bars. So until next time, until I catch you on another video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks. I'm out.